How's it going guys? Welcome back to my true FPS tutorial series. Uh, in the last video we set up the uh, M.Dog Science system for our weapon. So in this video we're gonna set up the uh, sway mechanic. So um, what we want to do here is that uh, when we uh, move the mouse uh, up and down uh, we want to add a little bit of uh, offset to uh, the camera position. So, um, first of all, in the character blueprint, uh, in the uh, in the movement input, I'm gonna I'm gonna promote the axis value to a new variable. So. Um, uh, this will be the move forward uh, value this will be the move right value all right and also for the mouse input I will promote them to a new variables so this will be the turn value this will be the look Value. Uh, all right, so compile and save. All right. All right. So after setting up the variables, um, we gonna go to our character camera blueprint. And in here, I will create. Uh, I will call the uh, event take. All right. So what we want to do is to uh, add uh, a uh, vector offset to our final camera location. So um, from the loop knob, I will call the vector plus vector. And then uh, I will promote this to a variable called uh, sway offset. All right. All right. So compile and save. So in the event uh, in the event graph, I will create a new custom event for open sway so uh, in this function here we want to set our sway offset and I'll call the interp no so we're gonna interp uh, the sway offset value to a target uh, vector uh, which uh, will be uh, a um, I will make a vector here. No, actually, I will um, call a vector plus vector, and the first pin will be our sway offset, and the second pin I will split it and then I will call the player reference and call get the uh, turn value and also the uh, look value so from the uh, turn value we would want to multiply it with a float and uh, 
I'll call it the sway your intensity which will be 2 also for the look value I will promote it to a new variable called uh, sway uh, pitch intensity so this will be sway and the value will also be 2 and then I will block the output of this uh, value to the y-axis and uh, the output of this uh, will be the z-axis so in the uh, from the event take we just need to call the weapon sway function so the delta time will be get world delta seconds in top speed will be 5 so you can see that when the character turn um, the camera will be offset um, based on the direction of the character and also uh, uh, the player alright so we need to call the uh, valid node here and also uh, from the sway offset we need to rotate it with a rotator which will be the final camera rotation so uh, this vector will always rotate with uh, our character alright, I'll save ok so it should be offset alright so um, the pitch is uh, inverted so I will uh, multiply this with uh, negative 1 so ok so the camera is uh, offset and so we need to uh, before this we need to interpret the uh, sway uh, offset to the default value so the camera will be snapped back to the default position so I will call the interp Um, the inter speed uh, here will need to be higher than the uh, inter speed here, so uh, I will change it to eight. Uh, current will be the sway offset, and the target will be zero. Uh, get well delta seconds. Well, compile save so now so now after the camera is uh, offset uh, it will snap back to uh, it uh, to its um, default location all right so this is good Alright, so what I'm actually gonna do now is to I'm gonna um, create two different sway. Um, one when the uh, character is not aiming, and one when the character is uh, aiming outside. Alright, so this will be in the so I am now signed. 
से आउटपुट वो भी दिस वैल्यू ही है then i'm gonna clamp the value just in case the mean will be uh, about negative 0.7 and the mass will be 0.7 and same goes for this note And then I will just copy this and paste to the sway idol and plug it to the out to the output and uh, we will claim the value to uh, about negative 20 to 20 and for the pitch it will be uh, Negative 10 to 10. The power is safe. And then in the event graph, we will uh, call two macros here. And we're gonna get the M.Sign sign uh, enable and call the select node. The return value will be uh, from from uh, the selection of uh, true or false. So when the character is aiming downside, we we would want to block the sway uh, aim downside to true and the sway idle to false. Alright, so compile and save. So when I hit play okay okay there you go the weapon sway uh, but actually I'm gonna in the sway idle I'm not gonna uh, multiply the pitch value with a uh, negative one so so I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna turn up the uh, sway sway yaw to about three and sway pitch to three. All right. So there you go. Um, the weapon sway mechanic. Okay, so that's the end of this video and I will see you in the next one.